The Federal Competition and Consumer Protection Commission, FCCPC, has shed light on the ownership of the two supermarkets sealed over the weekend in Abuja. The acting executive vice chairman, chief executive officer of the commission, Adamu Abdullahi, who was speaking with Trust TV News on the action which followed allegation of discrimination against Nigerians by the supermarkets, said the federal government will also work to ensure that the rights of Nigerians are protected at all times. The report. Contrary to reports making the rounds that both supermarkets are owned by foreigners, the acting executive vice chairman of FCCPC clarified that only one is owned by a foreigner, adding that the owners of the second supermarket who are Lebanese had already nationalized and are now Nigerians. He also updated Nigerians on the case. You saw what went viral. This is a complaint about the fact that uh, since January, this shop has not allowed any Nigerians uh, into both the supermarket and the restaurant. Unfortunately, the owner uh, found it more convenient just look up the place and leave. And uh, all efforts to reach her, despite the fact that we, we got her phone number, we got her contacts from uh, the facility managers there, was in vain. So we were left with no option than to stick the summons, just the summons really, that was stuck on the uh, gate of the shop, asking uh, the management of that shop to come and meet us tomorrow at 11 a.m. If they don't come, that's when uh, the seal in action cannot take place. What we found out was, uh, you know, we, we normally go on spot checks just to find out whether things are going on correctly or not. So I was called in because they found out that uh, Amigo was selling Stallion brand rice as well as cup rice. Stallion Group, as we all know, uh, wound up its services in Nigeria in 2018. In the course of our investigation, we also noticed that they have a lot of uh, products whose uh, expiries have been tampered with. And that's not allowed. Uh, there, 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 every reason why, because why should know what the expiry date of the product is. So obviously, those products must have expired. We went ahead, evacuated both the rice and the expired products, and uh, these are now in our own stores. And we also sealed their warehouse so that they cannot have access to more of the goods, and they cannot sell to well many Nigerians. He also spoke on what Nigerians should do when sharp practices are detected. Tell us whatever infractions they find happening in both the formal and informal markets. And once we get that information, it is what we use to now carry out all the surveillance and enforcement activities that we do here. We encourage people to come and tell us whatever they find out, and uh, we give them a word that nobody would know what the source of information is, but we just go ahead and take action with it. Meanwhile, some FCC residents have been reacting to news of alleged discrimination by the supermarkets as well as governments clamp down. Yeah, I think I'm happy about it here. Yeah. Also, what they did is right. So you, you have a supermarket in Abuja, Nigeria, and you are not selling your products to the fellow Nigerians. So that's not, that's not, that's not right. That's not good. The local. Do the one local. Or the one local. It's not good. At the time of filing this report, all efforts to hear from the owners of the supermarkets were not successful. No, Samson, Trust TV News, Abuja. Meanwhile, the owner of the Abuja-based Chinese supermarket, criticized for barring Nigerians and restricting entry to Chinese nationals, has refuted claims that her store is only meant for a specific group of people. She also clarified that her establishment is not a supermarket, but rather a retail shop aimed at meeting the essential needs of her local community. Louis Bay disclosed this in a personally signed statement on Tuesday, noting that she feels scarred seeing a lot of people she doesn't know in front of her store. Her reaction followed a summer notice and threat of sanction by the Federal Competition and Consumer Protection Commission on Monday. After it sealed her store, Trust TV on Monday reported that the supermarket had implemented a controversial policy restricting entry solely to Chinese nationals, excluding Nigerians, from patronizing the establishment.